Hey, so tell me this ever happened to you before. Back in my uh, bro meathead days, when I used to do the bench press, I used to go to the gym with my buddies and we would do whatever it was that we were doing, three sets of eight, five sets of five, however much that we were doing. And then after that, what we would do is we would strip everything off and we would keep a 45 pound plate on each side, so 135. And what we would do is we would max out on that weight. So we would get as many reps as we possibly can, but we had a spotter. And so what the spotter would do at the end would give us, they would force us to do reps. And what you'll notice is that you're maxing out and you're doing a bunch of weight and a bunch of weight until you can't lift concentrically or push the weight up anymore. So that's a concentric uh, contraction when you're pushing the weight up or pushing the weight away from you. So you can't concentrically lift it anymore. You've maxed out. But what our training partner would do is they would get on the bar as our spotter and then lift the weight up, force the weight up, and then we would be able to pull the weight back down under control. And then it would grab it again, lift it up, and then we'd have to control it down as slow as we possibly can. That slow lowering or the eccentric contraction, the slow lowering of the slow negative of the weight, what you'll notice is even though we've maxed out concentrically, so pushing the weight off, we're still, we still have a little bit of juice left to be able to pull the weight down. So what you notice after you did a, a set like that is that a day after or a couple of days after, you would be incredibly sore in, your, like in the chest area, whatever muscle it is that you were working because your partner was forcefully pulling the weight up and then you're controlling it back down. So what's happening in that instance is that slow eccentric, that slow stretching of the muscle is creating these like little micro tears in your muscle that help facilitate muscle growth. So like the whole theory behind muscle damage or delayed onset muscle soreness is that as you lower it down, you, you create these little micro tears and then you recover enough where the micro tears get filled in and you get more robust muscle fibers. So obviously we can't do that with a bench press because we're, we're talking about kettlebells right now. And we can't do it with a strict press because we're not working with a spotter. We're usually working by ourselves. So we don't wanna force or contort our body to try to get that bell up so that we can control it down. But what we can do is we can use, in order to elicit the muscle damage response, which is essential for muscle building, which is what this video is about, we can use an exercise that we can safely force or explosively force the weights overhead and then use that slow eccentric contraction to initiate some type of muscle damage response. And that exercise is the double push press, which is what I'm gonna show you now. So I've got a pair of kettlebells and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push press them up using my entire body for the press, but on the way down, when after I have them locked overhead, I'm gonna use that slow eccentric to bring them down. Now, it's said in the kettlebell world that what you can't press, you push press, what you can't push press, you jerk. So we use the push press to force these weights up overhead, but do it explosively, so we're working our fast switch fibers, and do it under control, so that we're paying attention to technique, and then we're gonna use that slow negative to build muscle, to get that muscle damage response. So here's what that looks like. So as I said, a couple of 24 kilo kettlebells. Now, normally I'd be able to press this probably about six or seven times, but for all intents and purposes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna force them up and then I'm gonna use the slow negative to bring them down. So you can see that when I push press, when I push press, I'm gonna use my lower body to get the kettlebells up, and then from here, I'm gonna maintain my form and pull them down slow. So if you end up doing that enough times and really getting that slow negative, what you're, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get that muscle damage effect. You're gonna get those micro tears in the muscle and then provided that you have enough time to recover and that your nutrition is dialed in, you will end up building muscle because you're getting that muscle damage response. And so that's what we're trying to do here. The big thing or the most important thing to remember is that the muscle damage and the lifting is the stimulus and nothing's gonna happen unless our recovery is dialed in. So we have to make sure that we're getting enough sleep. We have to make sure that we're eating enough protein because protein are the building blocks of muscle. And we have to make sure that we're taking enough time off to be able to recover in that span. So this is why you're only training three or four days a week, making sure that on your heavy days, you've got enough rest in between your heavy day and then the next time that you're working out. Okay, so that's muscle damage and that's how we're gonna incorporate it within our programming.
And that's the second principle of muscle building. I'll see you in the next video.